guys, Sam here from Sam's Review, and finally, Bat Sam returns. <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, for those of you who watched my channel update, uh, my hard drive died, um, so I, lo I lost a month's worth of reviews. Um, but now I'm back, and I'm going to carry on where I left off, and that's with the DC Comics Multiverse Batman vs Superman. Dawn of Justice figures by Mattel. So today we're looking at Wonder Woman. I still, to this day, I, I mean now it's, at the day of recording this is September 16th, 2016. We still haven't got these in the UK. None of them. Um, which I, I just boggles the mind why Mattel don't bring these out. I mean they didn't bring uh, the... Um, Dark Knight figures for the movie, they didn't bring those out in the UK. The Dark Knight Rises figures, they didn't bring those out in the UK. Uh, Man of Steel, I, I found a few of those in my comic book shop. Uh, but no, we never got the full weight. They never came out over here. They're not regularly available like in America. All of these are available in Target, Walmart. They've even got Walmart exclusives for the Suicide Squad line, which I will be taking a look at. But they just don't bring them out over here in the UK. So you have to either get really lucky and have a comic book shop, uh, which luckily my comic book shop now stocks some of the Suicide Squad figures, all of the first wave, which I'll be taking a look at, like I said. Uh, but Wonder Woman was packed one per case uh, when they were delivered to stores in America and Canada and all, all the way around the world. So I had to import her in. Uh, I had to get her off eBay, so I paid... Uh, more than I wanted to for her, but anyway, let's enough with the rambling. Let's have a look. So up here has the DC Comics Multiverse logo and the Dawn of Justice symbol. There, you have the figure itself inside of a window box packaging. Uh, picture of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, who I have a massive crush on. Uh, then this is Batman vs Superman Wonder Woman figure, and it's got a Collect and Connect Grapnel Replica Blaster piece. Uh, if we look on the side, here it's got that same artwork from the front of Gal Gadot, and then here it's got a read-up, uh, basic synopsis of the film, uh, which if I bring in a UK box, or a, a, a European box, here, if you look at the side, we don't get that read up. We just get multiple languages. So that's just the difference there. So there's that if you wanted to pause and read that. If we flip it around to the back, there is a picture of the Grapnel Blaster that you can get. This with all the figures, you get a separate piece and it all connects to make the Grapnel Blaster, uh, which is uh, life size, I believe, but it's all made of plastic. Um, so there's that. Uh, there is the first wave, so number one is Superman, who I've already taken a look at. Batman, who I've also already taken a look at. Uh, number three is Wonder Woman, who we're looking at today. And number four, who I've also taken a look at, is Armored Batman. Figures coming soon, not to the UK, but are already out all over the world. Uh, number five is Lex Luthor. Number six is Nightmare Batman. Number seven is the Bat Creature, and number eight is Aquaman, who there are two variants of. Uh, the first wave, when they released him, he came with a silver trident. Uh, they then realised that that wasn't movie accurate, and they've now re-released it, at least in America, in Canada, and all, everywhere else except the UK, uh, with a gold trident. Anyway, with that being said, let's open it up, take a look. So, slide it up. I will be keeping the box for Wonder Woman because it's been such a hard figure to find and even now she goes for crazy prices on eBay so I'm going to be keeping the box for this one. Uh, here is the figure inside and then behind the backing has this kind of globe logo. Not sure what relevance that has to the film, if any. We'll pop that over there. What did you guys think of the film itself? Um, I saw the uh, the movie in cinemas, and as you guys already know, I am a massive Batman fan. Man of Steel made me a Superman fan. Um, 
but the the theatrical release of Batman vs Superman. I mean, I went with uh, my mum. My mum uh, saw Man of Steel, and uh, my stepdad wouldn't go with her to see that, so she wanted to go with me. She loved it, um, and then she wanted to see the follow up. She wanted to see. Uh, Man of Steel 2, but obviously they haven't made that yet. So when they announced Batman vs Superman, you know, she also likes Batman. And it's nowhere near as much as me, but she does like the films. Um, so she wanted to go see it, but she fell asleep within the first 15 minutes because she didn't know what was going on. Uh, and when I left the cinema, I have to admit, I wasn't too the wise of what, what the film was about. I mean, it made no sense why Batman wanted to fight Superman, uh, well that did, sorry, uh, but it didn't really make sense why Superman wanted to fight Batman um, until towards the end. Um, also, how Lex Luthor knew who Bruce, that Bruce Wayne was Batman, and how Superman knew that uh, Bruce Wayne was Batman, and none of it was explained. I've since got the Blu-ray of the extended Ultimate Edition. And that clears most of the problems up, so it's a far better. If you haven't seen the movie, get the Blu-ray and watch the ultimate version, because that seems to be where the plot of the film is. And for whatever reason, they cut it out, which seems ridiculous to me. But there we go. Anyway, first of all, let's have a look at the Collect and Connect piece that comes here with Wonder Woman, which is part of the base, if I bring the box in. It is... This piece just here, number three, so that will connect into the other bits that we've already got. This came with Batman, and the handle of the gun came with uh, Superman. So if I bring that in now, these are all the bits I've got so far, and then this little clip here, which is pretty pointless in a minute because it doesn't connect to anything. So we take, oh, there at the bottom it's got that little screw and a little groove, and then you just line this up here. And hopefully it should have snapped together. Yep. And then you'll end up with something like that when you've got Batman's piece, Superman's piece, and finally Wonder Woman's piece. So still, I can't do anything with that yet because I haven't got the other figures, so we'll put that to one side. Having a look at her accessories. So they're a little bit warped coming out of the package. So she comes with a sword, which has got some detailing on it here. I'm not sure how well that's coming out, but... So that's quite nicely done, but uh, here, unfortunately, on the back here, why they feel it's necessary to put China. I know it's made in China, but surely you could just mark the figure. It doesn't have to have everything marked with it. But So there is that, and there is the hilt, which is done nicely. It's, it's kind of a, it's a little bit pliable, but I wouldn't bend it too much because you might risk breaking it, so maybe just... I mean, mine's a little bit bent. I might just heat it up with a little bit of hot water and that'll sort it out. But that's her sword. She also comes with her shield, which has uh, an eagle on the front of it, which I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the film. I, I think it was just this kind of background here. But it's got some nice um, engravings around the top there, some scripture. And uh, it's done with a gold and silver. And around the back, it's got a little slot for a hand and a handle that she can grab hold of. And if we bring in the figure herself, so there's the face sculpt. I mean, from certain angles, I mean, it kind of, kind of looks like Gal Gadot, but not massively. Um, I do like her updated outfit and her updated look. Uh, she's got obviously the, the headband that they incorporated um, and then they made this more kind of almost uh, like a gladiator from Rome or something which I, I kind of like the updated look uh, and I definitely liked Gal Gadot's performance I, I didn't I honestly thought when she was cast that she was too skinny uh, so I was a bit worried but she did fantastic she proved that all the doubt is wrong she was the highlight of the film for me um, or one of them anyway I mean also Ben Affleck's Batman, amazing. But so here's the figure. That's the face sculpt. She has this uh, kind of bandolier sash thing going on here, which is uh, 
it's a separate piece but is glued to the figure in two places here just below the uh, strap for her top so you couldn't remove it uh, on that it's got a little sheath there for her sword so if we move her arm there we can slide that in so that is a working sheath so there you get her, her sword move her arm down there we go so you can have her with a sword uh, also around the side here it does have her lasso um, which was used in the film so it's, it doesn't come off it's actually sculpted in here it's part of the the thing but it's nicely painted uh, this is kind of a her, her dress is kind of a more of a pliable plastic there's not much bending to it um, so that's that Ooh, pull those out uh, down in her boots here it's made to look more like a strappings like with skin tone in between um, her boots which is uh, movie accurate and I like it again because also it's very reminiscent of uh, gladiators from Roman times and stuff so that's that uh, if we go into articulation I mean we'll just have a quick look at the back there if we go into articulation unfortunately due to the nature of her hair and it's done with a very very hard plastic she doesn't have I mean that's about it and then so you're not getting much at all there nothing in the way of up and down her arms oh, go out they're on a full hinge joint so they come out and they go round it's got an upper oh, upper if I can get it to work it might be a frozen joint yeah there we go she's got upper bicep swivel single hinged elbows that only go about that far so that's it straight that's it bent no gauntlet joint at all she does yep she does have a swivel here at the wrist there we go so you can swivel that and that's it in the way of arm articulation she has a waist cut but once again because of the bandley you're not getting much out of that I mean that's about it uh, no ab crunch she does have the the, the T crotch legs but once again, because of the, the dress here, it doesn't, I mean, that's about as far out as the legs go. Forward, you can get her leg that far, back about that far. She has a upper thigh swivel, just above the knees. Uh, she has single hinged knees. Uh, no swivels or anything there and, and she has the hinges which I'm not a fan of because if you get weak hinges in the feet the figure won't stand uh, and there are no peg holes on her so if we try and put her shield on here let's get a look at what her shield looks like when it's on so let's try this Ooh. It's a bit of a tight squeeze getting her arm through, at least this arm, maybe a uh, switch arms. Try the other arm. No, no, it's going to have to be this arm. Do, do, do. Hmm. Well, it appears that my figure at least I've seen other reviews where it goes on nice and easy but with my figure it's proving a little difficult to get a hand through the gap but that's due to her thumb really I, mean, I don't know how well this is coming out but her thumb kind of doesn't want to go into the hole <laughs> so I'm not quite sure oh, maybe it's almost one of those things that when you get it on you're probably not going to be able to get it off again so, give it a go. Come on. There we go. Mm. Don't know if her hand's actually going to go through there. Don't think it will. Nope, it doesn't want to go through. So, maybe it go. Maybe through that way. Yeah. 
mean, even like this, the hand doesn't really want to go through. No, it doesn't. No, I can't. I can't. So I may have to get some hot water on that to try and loosen this up a bit, but I can't. As it stands out of the box, with my figure at least, I can't get her to hold the shield. Um, which is disappointing to say the least, because I wanted her posed with it, but she won't get her hand in, so... Oh, no, oh, oh! So close. I've got her hand in. Just need to get it lifted in. There we go. It's very loose, I mean, because I can't actually get her wrist now to spin around and grab the handle, but I've managed to get her to at least hold it, so she can hold it. And her sword here. Get this in this hand. So she holds the sword, but once again, it's very... It's not very tight, it's a bit of a loose fit, but that's kind of what you can get. I mean, maybe you can play around with it and get a, a better pose, but that's what you can get her like, holding it. So if I give you a size comparison now, I'll get this to stand up. Get to stand up, there we go. So if I move the camera down, there's Wonder Woman. Which, yeah, it's, it doesn't look a bad figure. If we bring in the Batman. So she is shorter than Batman, it's, I don't know how well this is coming out here, maybe if I talk it up a bit better, there we go. So she's shorter than Batman, and if we bring in Soups over here, she is a ooh, nearly, I'd say just a fraction taller than Superman. Now if we wanted to compare her to another uh, female figure from the Mattel line of DC characters. Here is Feora from Man of Steel and she towers above Feora. Um, so there we go. I'll move Soups back in here and push, beat up Feora. And there we go. You've got the Holy Trinity. So thanks guys. That was just a quick review looking at the uh, DC Multiverse Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman figure. Uh, I do have the uh, Toys R Us exclusive Batman and Superman figures, uh, but that's it at the moment for the Batman v Superman figures, but I do have all of the first wave of Suicide Squad figures coming. Uh, so thank you very much for sticking around, and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.